What's up my friends? Man, it has been a while since I've checked in with you. So I'll catch you up real quick. This is what's going down. First of all, I started cleaning up because that all freaking came out of one stuffed animal that that destroyed. And it was literally everywhere across the whole house. Like we wonder how this house gets dirty so fast and it's literally this dude. It's your fault. You're cute and I love you, but it's your fault. Huh. He hasn't been feeling super good. He's literally been pooping just juicy, juicy, poopy, chocolatey, syrupy, doggy poo uh, the last couple days. I don't know what he, it's probably that lake water that he drank you saw from yesterday's vlog. Anyway, giant box, Carrie's bike showed up. Again, Schwinn did not send this to me. We bought these bikes. I'm going to build it for her so we can start bike riding together. Um, in other news, my sock company, which some of you know that I run a sock company with a good buddy of mine named Jeff, we just launched some advertising and marketing campaigns on Facebook, so all of my time has been focused there for the last couple days, and it's going awesome. It's been going so good so far. We've been killing it with our sales. I told you guys in a few vlogs back that we ordered 13,000 pairs of socks, which are sitting in our warehouse in Idaho, which is the largest order we've ever done. And so now our goal is to just sell all those because when we sell through that entire inventory, that's when we can start paying ourselves and making some good money. So bless you, Jasper. We're gonna build this bike. I know it's late in the day. I know I've been uploading late back to my regular schedule. And what you guys gotta remember is that I shoot daily videos, but I'm not a full-time YouTuber in the sense that I do not make money off of my channel. So I do still have to work my business and my day job. I dedicate a lot of time to the vlogs, but I cannot dedicate all my time to the vlogs at this point. If you guys help me get to a million subscribers, I am 99% positive I can carve a living out of that. So if you guys wanna help me roll to that benchmark, let's do it. And then I'll be a full-time YouTuber and my content will be beautiful and I'll dedicate all my time to editing and fanciness and high tech equipment and drones and everything and, and that'd be cool. I'm down for that, I'm ready. Anyway, let's build this bike. I'll show you when it's all done. Operation, build wife's bike, engage. This bike is significantly heavier than the bike that I built yesterday and significantly more purple than my bike. Okay, my friends, we've got this thing just about wrapped up and it's looking pretty good. I think I did uh, everything right. She's got a little bell up here. Jasper loves to listen to it. Brakes are working, clamping the tires at the right spot. Got the fender on. Yep, I'm just gonna tighten everything up, make sure it's all straight and she should be ready to ride. Guys, I'm gonna go on a really quick rant about what life has been like since I started YouTubing. Now. This is still a fairly new project. We're at like 560 subscribers just about. I've been doing it for almost 50 days straight. Um, and so there's still a lot of room for growth and development here. And life really hasn't changed that much for me personally, other than the fact that I spend a lot of time in my office editing. I've met some super cool people through the comments and through people interacting with me on my social media. It's really awesome, the community that is developing there. Um, which is why so many people stick to YouTube platforms because there's such a strong sense of community. And one of the ways that I promote is through my Instagram. And I actually credit my Instagram account for a lot of my YouTube growth. Follow me on Instagram, check it out. It's sir underscore beardface. You can check it out. In fact, the link is in the description. One of the things that's changed the most dramatically since I started YouTubing is the amount of DMs I get in my Instagram from 
all kinds of people. People saying I love your videos, people saying I hate your videos. For the most part, it's been positive, but here's something that's been blowing my mind recently. I've had like 10 to 15 year old kids straight up just asking and almost demanding that I like give them stuff. Because they subscribed, I owe them something. Like I've had kids ask for money or to buy them gifts or like, Hey, shout out my channel or shout out my page. If you don't give me a shout out, I'll unsubscribe, this and that. And it's blowing my mind. It's like, what is, what are, what is today's youth? What are they becoming? Like, and I try to talk to these kids. I try to tell each and every one. I say, look, man, first of all, you're not going to get anything from me by demanding it. I believe in exchanging value for value. So if you want to get something in return, not only from me, but from anybody, provide value in that person's life. Find a way that you can help that person, provide value for them, and they're going to be more likely to do you a favor or do you a solid, or at least at the very least, you have that contact in your pocket. You have somebody that you can network with, that you build a relationship with. When you DM me out of the blue and just demand that I give you a shout out, not even saying please or demand that I send you money or freaking gifts. It's like, hell no, I'm not going to give you anything. And it blows my mind that that's a mindset that kids think I'm not even going to try and butter this guy up. I'm just going to hit him up in his inbox and I'm going to tell him to give me a shout out or tell him to send me stuff. This one kid asked if I would send him clash of clans, gems or tokens or something. And he's like, I'm 13. I was like, dude, you're not going to get anything from me, but it just blows my mind. And I try to, I try to be patient with these kids and tell them, look, you're not going to value anything that's given to you for free like that. Secondly, I'll ask them like, how does, how has that worked for you? Honestly, when you just hit somebody up and demand it, how has that worked for you? I guarantee that your success rate with that has been crap. And so I try to tell them like, look, work for it, hustle, go make money, go build connections, build relationships, provide value to that person. Nowadays with technology, these kids know how to edit videos and they know how to fly drones and they know how to do file conversions and all this stuff, graphic design, whatever it is. Find what you're good at and provide value. Be like, hey, here's a logo or here's this. I thought you might benefit from this. Hey, what would you think about collaborating on this? I suppose it's a little bit of a rant. If you're watching this and you've ever done anything like this, just learn to hustle, learn to work for what you want. Don't ask somebody else for handouts because you'll never appreciate it if it's just given to you. That's my biggest point. Don't ask for handouts, work your butt off, learn to hustle, learn to make money. I had a job when I was 13 years old. I had a job when I was 15 years old. I had a job when I was 17 years old and I worked for the things that I wanted. Anyway, rant over. I just don't get that mindset. That's been the biggest thing that's changed for me since I've started doing this, since I've started self promoting, which is like somewhat taboo all in of itself, but like you have to, like I do a vlog channel. I have to self promote. That's what I do. That's how I expand my reach. That's how I get people to watch my movies. And the, the majority of you have been awesome, have been positive, have been super supportive. Your feedback's been great. You commented on all my videos. So thank you for that. It's truly been fantastic. Um, if you're a kid just demanding that people give you stuff, it's not going to work. I'm not going to give you anything. No one else is going to give you anything. Learn the principle of hard work and providing value. Exchange value for value. Find out what you're good at and do that for people. That's it. Find out where they have a weakness or where they have a problem that you can fix or you can solve and it will be night and day the difference in the opportunities and the networking and the people you meet and the experiences you have. Okay, rock and roll. Sorry for ranting. You guys are awesome. Thank you to all the supporters so far. Let's rock and roll and shoot up to a thousand subscribers. We'll be there before you know it. Talk to you guys later. Adios. Peace. Bye.